normally uh, from the time that you have your collection, uh, you have to count uh, five more or six, uh, five or six more days until day five or day six of embryo development. This is where the embryo biopsy takes place. Uh, so after the biopsy, we need almost uh, 10 to 15 days or 10 working days uh, to have uh, our results from NGS. Most of the labs uh, are testing chromosomes with NGS, which is next generation sequencing, which is the more efficient and uh, the more accurate method to analyze chromosomes. Uh, so it takes almost one month from the beginning of your stimulation until you get your results. Uh, this is due to the fact that all these platforms of NGS uh, are, run, uh, you know, are being carried out with many samples, not just once or two. So we have to uh, make an experiment, an NGS experiment, by uh, putting lots of samples in the experiment. And since uh, you cannot have to 18 to 20 embryos to test, uh, we need many couples to have 18 to 20 samples. And that's why uh, uh, most of the middle to uh, small NGS labs are uh, taking around 10 working days to give you back uh, your results. So I would assume that uh, from the start of the stimulation until uh, the report of PGTA or PGS is around uh, one month.